What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, back with another reaction to Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. We are here for episode 10. Looking forward to what they're about to give us this week. Bleach has been so good so far adapting this arc of the anime. Um, I'm gonna have to jump in and probably go and read the manga not necessarily not for the thousand year blood war but for the hell arc i think it started i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check to see if it actually started then i will go ahead and read that but for the most part i'm definitely not gonna be reading up anything probably just to see what it was like in the manga for the stuff that has been adapted already in the anime but so far so good um They've been tearing it up. They've been tearing it up. I have no qualms with what they've done so far, man. Um, can't wait to see what they're going to do next. Definitely looking forward to Unahana versus um, Kenpachi. Because that fight is not over. That fight is not over. And there's much to tell. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to do it in this episode. So, without no further ado, let's jump into the episode. And I will see you guys at the end for the review. Let's go. あ、ほな、あの、ぶっ殴れ。懐かしい。戦いは楽しいが、その最中に我を忘れたり、意識が飛んだことはねえ。そんなことはただ一度。あんたとたかった。あの日だけだ。旅行が良いくら探しても隊長が満足される剣を喜ばせるに足る敵を求めてあらゆる場所をさまよったそれゆえ剣がそれに生む者同士を引き合わせたのでしょう思いもしなかったよもや私がこんな子供相手の切り合いに勝ってない喜びを得ようとはよも
they're doing this justice, man. Yeah. Her bankai is. Toki-te-iku. <laughs> 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 まで俺は眠っていたのか。それを今あんたのおかげで俺はようやく知ることができたんだ。ありがとう。これがこれがこれが戦いだ。あなたは永遠に戦いを楽しむため、自らを封じる術を身につけた。うん。私は永遠に
彼らは君らにこう思ってる根本が違う残白党と死神どっちが上かそこんとこから語り合おうぜ71 hours, bro. Three days! Go, Kakudayo, Lenji Chan. So stay, Kimi of Hugo, Kakudayo, Ichigo Chan. Yarasa, the Kangiret, the Wagas of Nendaro. The Kangiret, the Naino, Kimochi, an emotional limit. Yarenaitoka, so you Hanashi Stenaino, Kimi of Asauchini, Erabarena Kata, Sore Dake. Dakara, Mo, Muri, Oshimai, Chan Chan. この3日で確実に分かったのはレンジちゃんは死神でイチゴちゃんは死神じゃないってこと大丈夫ここから直で道開いてあげるよああそうだソウルソサエティにも二度と立ち入るなよソウルソサエティは死神たちの地残白党も持たないただの人間に立ち入る資格なんてないバカ野郎偽死神に握らす刀はねえバイバイバイイチゴちゃんどれほどのことなのか分かっちゃいない立ち戻る必要があるのさ自分のルーツに Do some meditation イチゴルーツを知って戻ってこれなくなったとしても Great episode, they're doing an excellent job, man. Um, of the adaptation, um, great stuff. I mean, at this point, I don't think it, it, it would be spoiling if I said, Yep, Ichigo will be back. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a given, he's the main character of the show, guys. Let's not be stupid, <laughs> okay? So, you, you guys are just watching the process. Um, you guys are just watching the process, man. And the process is, is actually beautifully done. If they animate this correctly, it's going to be one of the biggest moments in this arc. So just, you know what I mean? Just, just, just wait. Just, I, I think when it comes on to the dialogue and the things that they, and the things that they're doing and the stuff that was in the manga, they're doing an excellent job. Trust me. And I'm enjoying it. And some of the stuff while I'm going along, um, you're gonna get reactions out of me because I don't remember a lot of the dialogue. Like I don't remember a lot of the dialogue, um, you know. But I do remember the events as as I'm watching the episode. Certain things are coming back to me as to what I read in the manga. So, um, but for the most part, a lot of the dialogue and stuff like that, I don't remember a lot of the dialogue that happened. I do remember that Ichigo does get sent out. You know what I'm saying? Like he gets he gets sent out. Essentially, um, it, for this whole thing, I, from what I'm watching, or from what understanding, from what he is explaining to Ichigo, even though Ichigo didn't hear that last part, um, explaining to us the audience is essentially that Ichigo needs to go back to his roots because he needs to understand that he's not a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? He's not a Soul Reaper. He's not a Hollow. He's not just a Quincy. He's all of those things all wrapped up in one person. And that's the reason why you can't just define him by a Zampakto, if you will. You get what I'm saying? It's very hard to, to define him just as a Soul Reaper because he's, it, furthermore, he's a substitute Soul Reaper. You know what I'm saying? So it's like nothing that he does is ordinary. You get what I'm saying? So it's like he doesn't understand that. And you know what I'm saying? Dude is trying to help him through that. So um, essentially, the process is a beautiful process. Um, and you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy seeing it being animated and stuff like that. Hopefully, they keep in most of... Hopefully, they keep in everything that Kubo did in the manga for this specific part. I'm looking forward um, definitely to it. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. People who have not seen, who have not read the manga, is, is it's gonna be something beautiful to behold. It's a very emotional thing that Ichigo, Ichigo is, is gonna go through. It's gonna be awesome. The, the dialogue, if they keep the same dialogue, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. It's it's great to just watch this. Kenpachi versus Unahana came to an end, of course, in this episode with Unahana's death. 
and it's a beautiful thing man it's a beautiful thing to see Kimpachi now being able to actually hear the voice of his Zampacto for the very first time and it's a little confusing a lot of times you know what I'm saying it's it's very confusing because I you know a, a lot of people including me really did think I mean she, she is and she is not in a way the lieutenant his Zampacto like there was this huge theory one time that um she was actually is Zampacto but he didn't know how to pull out the full strength of it which as I said she is and she isn't it's weird <laughs> it's it's a weird thing you know what I'm saying but you guys will definitely um see what happens with that and if they choose to explain it the way how they explain it in the manga um of course um and you guys are definitely going to see some great stuff from Kimpachi in his next battle his next do or die battle or whatever is going to be an excellent thing to see an excellent thing to watch and as i said i'm trying very hard not to spoil anything for anybody it's a ride this as i said before and i'm not going to stop saying it that the thousand year blood war arc is the best war arc in manga to date you know what i'm saying as at least from what i've seen and from what i've read in the past right it's definitely one of the best if not the best very well done when you're talking about payoffs and stuff like that stuff that you've wanted to see in a series for a long time and you thought the series was over and you were never going to see it we got to see um we got to see um yamamoto's bankai we got to see unahana's bankai and there's more to come there's upgrades to come to characters as well that's going to be fire the animation has been on point so far for blade so i have no doubt that they're going to do a lot of the things to come very much so very good justice and i'm here for it so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man make sure you hit that like button make sure you give this a thumbs up make sure you comment on the video as well please guys comment on the damn videos and stop just watching the videos and enjoying the full reactions and not showing your boy some love the engagement is always good for the videos guys so make sure you do that likes are always welcomed all right so thank you guys so much once again see you guys next time see boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace